Ambient occlusion is a rendering effect that darkens corners and other spots where planes and objects meet or intersect. This can help make a rendering easier to read, more realistic in certain cases, and can also make a visual presentation stand out much better. Ambient occlusion is especially helpful with OpenGL renderings where the only light available is a direct light. OpenGL cannot use indirect or environmental lighting, so when we use the ambient lighting to brighten up an image, as we saw in the last chapter, the scene does become brighter, but the objects within it may be a bit hard to see clearly because they can look flat. In these cases, adding ambient occlusion can make a big difference. To turn on ambient occlusion, we go to the Lighting Options dialog box. We go to View Set Lighting Options. And then we go to the Ambient Info part of the dialog and turn Ambient on. And now click in the Ambient Occlusion checkbox to turn it on. At this point, we can adjust the effect's strength and the distance over which it extends. If we render it in OpenGL, we can see the ambient occlusion at work the moment we turn it on. We can also modify the impact of this effect by adjusting the ambient lighting brightness setting. Ambient occlusion works with other forms of rendering as well, including final quality render works. And render work styles can also have the ambient occlusion option selected. The exercise file for this chapter comes with a sample interior realistic render work style that has ambient occlusion turned on and another style that has it turned off for comparison. Now we can only access the ambient occlusion settings by turning on ambient lighting first. But once ambient occlusion has been turned on, we can turn off ambient lighting without affecting the ambient occlusion setting which remains in place. And in this way we can have the ambient occlusion effect without the additional lighting provided by ambient lighting.